What does Scar Rogers do? Okay, Scar Rogers is a rope access, well, industrial rope access company. And we provide a number of services. Um, the differentiating factor being we use ropes to move around. So it's abseiling, mountain, sort of climbing techniques, but in an industrial envir environment with ISO standards. Um, so we use rope access to be able to carry out inter-T non-destructive testing, uh, um, visual inspections, concrete repairs, concrete maintenance, <coughs> protect application of protective coatings, um, your UHP, HP and grid blasting. Um, we've got confined space teams that can access confined space or look after other contractors doing confined space. Um, we do bolting, talking, rigging, um, which uh, we do at a number of sites. So it's basically any service that people offer with the more traditional means, your scaffolding, your crane with a man basket, TSP, cherry pickers, we just do it off, off the ropes. Okay. Why does Skyro just do NDT testing? Um, as mentioned before, NDT is just another service we offer off the ropes. Um, there's a huge market for it, especially in your major heavy industries where uh, there's a short duration shutdown, so program is very tight, um, the budget is very tight, but they're still going to be able to achieve a certain uh, scope of work. Uh, with rope access, we can access large areas, especially confined space areas or where there's a height involved, using our rope access techniques and we can do the, the NDT or inspections off the ropes. So it's just one of the services we offer off the ropes and it just makes sense because we can do it. Which NDT test is the most effective? Um, the most effective is a difficult one to answer because it depends what the client wants to achieve or what the client wants to, to, to detect. Um, for example, we do a huge amount of visual inspections in the power stations. We've got the guys qualified to do visual inspections. But a visual inspection can only give you so much information. Um, and it can't, for example, tell you if there's material loss. So if a tube, for example, is getting thinner. So then you need your UT wall thickness, which is ultrasonic where you're measuring the thickness, the wall thickness of, of, of an item, uh, which gives the inspector more information. Um, but at the same time, a human eye is only so good. And sometimes if you're looking for cracks and, for, and fatigue and all that, you need your uh, diapenetrant type testing or your magnetic particle testing, um, which will show cracks, which, which to the human eye would be, you know, you wouldn't be able to see them. And then sometimes you're looking for flaws in the, in, in a, in a material which are below the surface. So if, uh, from the surface it looks perfect, a visual inspection it looks perfect, wall thickness it looks perfect, uh, the UT, uh, sorry, the diapen and magnetic particle it looks good, but the flaw is underneath that. And then you use UT normal ultrasonics to be able to detect those those um, those problems, and then of course X-rays as well, which is looking through the through the structure, but seeing seeing all the different layers of the structure. So it depends on what the client wants to achieve and what you're looking for. Okay, which projects has required the most NDT? Um, from our side, from the Skyrider's point of view, it's probably the the, the power stations. Um, on a large duration shut at one of the power stations, when they're doing a major shut, there's a huge amount of of inspections that are carried out on their pressure parts, which is in the boilers. Um, we have uh, probably a 30-man team doing inspections. Um, and that's UT wall thickness and visual inspections and a bit of dye pen inspections. Mostly in the dis difficult to reach areas inside the boiler, which saves them a bit of money on, on, on access. Um, but then we also carry out a number of inspections in their, in their coal bunkers, which are mainly visual and UT wall thickness. On, on the, the silo structure in, internally and also on the steel linings. We do the same on their PF pipes, which are the pipes that deliver the pulverized fuel from the coal basically is crushed and is pumped through to the boilers which is burned you know, to provide, provide the heat. We inspect those pipes, uh, wall thickness and visual. And then we also do the precip poppers, which are the, the, uh, the, uh, the, the plant that get rid of all the ash from the, 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 uh, the the flue gases before it's pumped up to the, the smokestack, so it cleans it, and they need inspections. So it's a combination of dye pen, magnetic particle, but then mainly visual and, and UT wall thickness. And that keeps us busy for at least probably 35 days.